Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Worst State stream. You are watching on a plethora of platforms, I hope. Um, YouTube, Facebook, and the old Twitch Rooney. It's my first time doing this, so I hope everyone can hear me and see me. Feel free to post your worst dates in the comments. I'm hoping it's going to pop up. Who fucking knows? Um, I'm Eleanor Conway. This is my worst state stream. Um, thanks for joining me. It's 9 p.m. on a Thursday. I want to bring on my... Um, I just want to get straight to it, mate. I want to get straight to it and bring on the worst date for this week. Uh, um, if you are in your house, feel free to start the clapping like a five-year-old boy. Start the cheering. Give it up for Victoria Kemba. Woo! Hey! Hey, I'm toned. Oh, my, 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 I'm, I'm working out. I'm trying to get toned. Um, how are you? What's going on? I'm really good. Loving lockdown. I actually love lockdown. <laughs> Why do you love lockdown? Well, I don't have to go to work and I live yeah. on my own. I can just masturbate all day. And Excellent. I don't have like anything to like get dressed up for, so I can just fucking put on as much weight as I want. Love it! I've really I think there's two it. camps of people, people that have sort of lost weight and sort of toned up and then the fatties. Um, well, I've tried both, but have you tried better? Well, I think it's definitely the men that are putting on weight rather than the women, from my experience. Mm -hmm. Have you been yeah. working out? Have you been doing weights and stuff like that in your flat? No, but I have been having loads of sex on top. No, I haven't really. I went to my sister's and I was like jogging for a few weeks, but I I just came home and I'm just like, you know, I'm going on a diet, but the exercise bit's just not my thing. So I thought you were in a relationship, but you, it turns out you're, you've been single for a while. We mustn't, yeah, yeah we must I, So yeah. are you having are you having lockdown sex? Well, I'm not having new lockdown sex, but I've been going back to a few, you know, ones Good. from the past. So okay. no, not really. I've been in the rules, Eleanor. The rules that you weren't meant to like have sex with anyone. Mm. Um, but you know, when they when lockdown like eased down a bit, you know, I called some of the old ones from back in the day. But um, not really, not as much as I would like. So hi, did you, did you, did you, I don't know many um, sort of like sporting um, sort of uh, words, but like, did you take them off the bench? I don't know. Yeah, what, subs bench. That's it, the subs um, bench, you just took them off. Yeah, I took them off the subs bench and made them my sub. <laughs> that was a dominatrix joke, babe. Thank you. Oh, um, no, there's guy. only one guy, but he, he's just a friend. I don't know why I'm okay. telling you this. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ, you're... You've got this out of me already. I know it's um, it's, the, it's the lipstick. It's the lipstick, right? And um, yeah. let's crack on. It's, this this uh, stream is called Worst Dates. If anybody's got any comments, do put them in the comments box, and um, we will either comment on what your worst date is if you have one, or we will um, we we will include you in some way or other. Um, right, Victoria Kemba, tell us about your worst date. Okay, right here we go. So story time. So this date is actually, I'm the worst person on the date here. I try to that's think what, about- That's what I love about this story, yeah. by the way, because we keep getting loads of women on that are being like, and gay guys that are like, uh, and then he was a weirdo. And I was like, there's got to be some women that are as badly behaved as I was. And yeah. you Aye, are probably... that's me. Right. So, um, yeah, so basically I've been talking to this guy on Hinge for a while. Hinge is the good one, you know. He was yeah. funny, really nice. He looked- cute in his pictures, fun job, like the chat was great. So we organised to meet up for a drink, which um, is right. you know, normal. Yeah. And, um, I just had a gig, like a gig, like um, I would um, I was doing an event, like a corporate event where I had to dress up as um, um, an 80s aerobics instructor, obviously. Uh, I, and I it's like in the... I do, we do have a picture. Hang on, let me just see if I can just share it. I, I, yeah. this, honestly, this is just me trying to learn how to do shit at the moment. Um, so an 80s aerobics instructor. Hi, Ron, let's have a look. Did it work? Oh, there <laughs> she is. I just talked about myself in third person. That's me. Um, so I was dressed like this. Um, and it was like three o'clock in the afternoon, this gig. So I thought, you know, I know what I'll do. I'll get this guy to come and meet me after because it was like in this really nice bar. And uh, there's like an outside and it's like in summer. So I thought, yeah. And also I get free drinks from this place. So I thought, you know, why not just get him to come? And if he's a weirdo, then I'm in a safe space, you know? Um, yeah. So anyway, after the gig, it went really well. I had loads of drinks. Everyone was giving me drinks. And I was like, yeah. Um, obviously, I hadn't had any dinner because the gig started at three. So I got a little bit drunk. Um, obviously, you know what I get like. I get quite... You're wild. Excited, 
I get excited. Um, so I had a few drinks all through yeah. the afternoon and I got a really bit drunk. So I knew this guy was coming for about like seven. He was coming after work. So he was going to meet me upstairs. It's like a big venue. So it was not going to be weird that like he wouldn't like come to the event, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, right. so I had drinks with all the drag queens and stuff. And then I was like, oh shit, the date's going to be here soon. I was dressed in this outfit and I thought, fuck it, I can't be bothered to get changed. I look great. My tits are hanging out. What the fuck? Why the fuck not? So um, I just took the headband off, oofed the hair a bit, thought, he's never going to know. Fuck it. I actually didn't. Oh, hello, babe. Um, so I didn't actually think about it too much because I'd had loads to drink. So anyway, yeah. he was upstairs. He texted me, he's here. And I had like fucking suitcase, fucking stereo, microphone, everything. Like waddled up with like about four, what, three. You were hosting, what you hosting, like burlesque or whatever you do? Oh, no, no, no. It was just like um, a aerobics comedy fun drag queen just yeah, yeah. Of, like, boring corporate people just embarrassing themselves basically it was fun um so anyway there was loads of drinks left over so I like grabbed a few bottles of like half empty bottle like a red prosecco you know a bit of flat prosecco like all in my arm like this like he's at the table what, with the beer what, what, what were you thinking at this time you like I was excited I just had a really good gig and I get overexcited and I was like we'd had loads of really good chat me and this guy I thought we we're gonna have a fucking great night I just had a really good day and like I was when I have a few wines I just get fucking excited so I had like all this like wine so like none of them were full they were all like I remember I had a suitcase as well dressed as an 80s aerobics instructor and he just had his beer and I remember coming over I was like hello well all like hello um and he was like hi he knew that I'd had a gig but I don't really know if he knew what it was and I said I'd worked for corporate events so I think he thought yeah. it would be like me with a fucking clipboard or whatever so I just sat down. He was like, oh, hi. I was like, hello. And obviously I was smashed. So he wasn't really that impressed. But anyway, I was like, look, I've got all this drink and there's more downstairs. And there's... Oh, wait, hang on. Where did you go? I'm here. Wait, hang on. I can't see you. Can you see me? Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and there was like food as well left over from the buffet. And I was like, I'll go and get some salami for us. And he was just like, no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> You're like, I went to the toilet. I kept bringing napkins full of like quiche and shit. Um, you're, do you know what? That you, you, right? You have you ever had a cat that mum's got a cat that brings home mice and like yeah. she presents it's like it that to sort of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to entice him. Um, right, salami. But um, yeah, so after I, I was getting well on my way by now, really excited. And I really wanted a cigarette, and there's like this big outdoor space. So I was like, I'm going to find a cigarette. This guy didn't smoke, and he was all like, nah. Um, but there was a group of old men. I don't know why I need to say they're old, but they were old. Um, having yeah, cigarettes outside, like in suits and stuff, because it was like in the city. So I went over and asked for a cigarette, and they were all like, I can't really remember what happened, but he told me this in a text message. I'll tell that's like later. Um, so I flashed my tits for a cigarette, which was classic. <laughs> So I was like, oh God, and you just hang on, hang on. I need to know. So you've left this guy. Know, this guy know. is just like, what the fuck have I come on a date with? Mm -hmm. He's still got so about. You're dressed like an aerobics instructor. Yeah. You're drunk. You're trying to get him wasted, and then all I'll of a sudden, feed him salami. <laughs> yeah, salami. And then all of a sudden, he sees you flashing old <laughs> men for tricks for yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So yeah, so I got some cigarettes. So I was smoking the cigarettes. He was just like fucking baffled by this point and I was like let's go to the dolphin I mean where else would you go on a date you know the dolphin obviously you know yeah so the dolphin the dolphin is like the gritty after hours place where murders have taken place probably yeah fingering has definitely taken place um <laughs> yeah. so I was like let's go to the dolphin I don't even know how I got him to come I think he lived near the dolphin and I was going to get an uber so he was like fuck it Let's just get in the Uber. So I, I didn't get into the Dolphin, obviously, because I was fucking smashed. I had, like, red wine everywhere, fucking just 80s aerobics instructor. Bad, bad, bad. Um, so, yeah, that was the bad thing. And then I think he – this sounds really dodgy, this bit, but I don't want to make the guy sound bad because it was all – I was, like, trying to drag him home. Yes. So I was trying to drag him home, and he, I, he, he like, came in the taxi with me. This is the best bit. This is my favourite part. Um, <laughs> so the, a couple of days before – I'd had a delivery of my friends. I can't remember what it was. It was like a Wagamama's or sushi or something. And there was something missing from in the bag. Um, yeah. So when we got back to my house, I was like scrambling around for my keys, trying to open the door. And I saw on the floor, there was this fucking box of like dumplings or something. So I just picked it up and started eating it. Because it was my fucking sushi from a couple of days before or whatever it was, dumpling. 
and he was just like, okay. <laughs> What? I'm really what? sorry. What? I have to go. He didn't know that it was mine. Also, I shouldn't have eaten it. It was two days old. But, you know, it was in a box. Fuck it. Um, so he was just like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm going to go. And then he just left. And I was like, okay. So, yeah, that's I love, I love the fact that he chose it was the food that threw him over the edge. And yeah. actually, when you saw the voice notes on Instagram, you were like, and this is disgusting. Yeah. But I ate the food. And that was the oh, point. I just love that that's the point. That's too much for yeah, you. Yeah, definitely too much. But then I messaged him a few days. I thought, you know what, I'll be cool. I'll be really fucking cool. I'll leave it a couple of days and I'll message him. Like, obviously, he hasn't messaged me. I thought we had a fun time. Like, I really did. I woke up with all my stuff. Like, usually I lose my stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just like, yeah, fuck it. I ate some fucking food off the floor and I showed my tits to some old member of cigarette. Why? Why is that bad? <laughs> anyway, so I messaged him and he sent me like, I think he took about, I don't know, like a day or something to reply, but he sent me this essay, which I really wish I had, but I don't, I've got a new phone. Oh, he sent no. me a fucking essay and he was just like, I have never experienced anything like that before. He was like, it was really rude for you to just basically turn up smash. Like he was like, not only do you show your tits to old men, but you fucking eat food. You have not for it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Um, so yeah, it didn't go that well. Um, and then he blocked me from all, everything. Yeah. Why were you even um, friends with him on social media by that Not point? Not social media, but you know when someone blocks you from Hinge, like after you've been on a date with them, that's really hurts. <laughs> that fucking hurts. It's like, yeah, block me from WhatsApp, blocking me from Hinge? Like where we, like, no, I don't like that. But then sometimes you don't know they've blocked you and then you swipe them again and they're like, fucking, you've obviously unmatched me to match me again, prick. But anyway, yeah. Um, what what seems to be happening to me or because uh, every so often I kind of go oh maybe something's changed I'll download an app again yeah and then I download it and I'm shit at it now like I used to be prolific but now because I don't drink or take drugs I'm shit at it. and what happens is I chat to people and I'll say something that I think is true and funny and then they unblo- then they unmatch me before they've yeah, even that me a lot does it yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, mine is the opposite to you. Like, I'm when I'm when I've not had a drink, I'm like making fucking friends, husband material. Yes, 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 yes. And then obviously, when you go to WhatsApp, like the next stage, it's like second base, isn't it? Going to WhatsApp, voice notes are a thing. Not do you good. send? Do you, how um how? Oh yeah, like, send voice notes all the fucking time after a warm up. Do you? Like, yes, it's really bad. Okay. I know I'm awful. It's really bad. What? What sort of voice notes are you just like, is this before? I can't even listen back to them in the morning. Is oh, it? do you know what I do? I can cringe delete something. So if I've oh, done... I do if, the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking if archive, done, babe. That hey. Happen. Put in. You what? You what? No, I said you archive them and then just pretend it never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I generally sort of like delete text and then just delete it from my mind and then it didn't mm-hmm. happen. That's how I have lived quite a lot of my life. So... um so do you think, why did, why did you think, and I am not shaming you, Vic Kemba. Go on. But what was going through your mind when you decided that, to flash the dudes? Why do you show your tits for cigarettes? Yeah. This is what my friends have always told me. Like, I've always, I've been brought up in a naked house. I'm fine with nudity. Nudity is great, okay? Not a naked house, but like, you know, not like, oh my God, no, that's wrong. I haven't been brought up in a naked house, like, no, but like n- nudity has never been like a thing in my like my household, or whatever. So like getting your boobs out is absolutely fine. It's my choice to get my tits out. Then you know, but my friends have always done this thing where if we're going out on a night out, they're like Vicky tit check. How how easy is it for you to get your tits out in this outfit? And if it's like Whoop, they're like <laughs> wear that. But what I was wearing obviously was very easy. So I was obviously like yeah, just. I love the shock factor. I just can't help myself. And I wanted a cigarette. So... Do you not think they would have given you one? Yeah, probably. But I wouldn't be here telling you the story if I hadn't got my tits out, would I? I can't... There you go. Sorry. I was stressed out with the old um, tech situation. Um, So, like, okay, look, fine. Look, I get it. I get it. Do you think because you do burlesque stuff, you just don't give a... You, it, the, the, like, the currency of a boob isn't that much anymore? Yeah, No, not not really, because there's actually loads of really, really nice people that wouldn't do that that work in burlesque. I would say, <laughs> I'm just like that. Like, 
I'm just a really fucking awful person that has no shame. No, but, but I, I, I disagree with that. I disagree that because you flashing tits at a bloke uh, on a first date for fags. Oh, no, it wasn't to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like, that is not... Like, tit flashing Victoria isn't the whole part of Victoria. No, but, I mean, he didn't even take the time to get to know me, so... Do you, think, do you think you do it as a fence mechanism to be like... Oh, my God, deep. Yeah, I know. Probably. I'm like, how far can I push this guy? But then I think if he'd have done... If he'd have got his dick out for a cigarette, I'd have been like, oh, my God, he's the one. Like, that's so funny. Actually, no, I wouldn't. If it was like a group of old women and he got his dick out, that'd be really bad. It's different, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know because I... Look, I'm trying to become more emotionally sober of late and, uh, um, and just being like a full extreme person early doors um I, I like i've been looking at my own behavior and going oh am i doing that because i'm yeah. scared of hurt and being vulnerable and all that shit and maybe just you and i have got like like just a different setting so like no, I think... when someone wants to be defensive we're like let's show them our tits let's show random people our tits <laughs> yeah i think you're right but ha question for you like for because you have been in long-term relationships um, with someone we both know, but like, and I don't know, probably other people as well. Um, about that. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, but, yeah, but, but 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 were you like that with the long term? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. were. Yeah. And so, w were those people like, she's mental? I fucking love that brand of crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, sometimes, but then not all the time. Obviously, like, there's there's times where I've been in relationships where. I've had to be sat down like a little girl and be told her, Vicky, if you could not get your tits out on my friend's wedding, that would be absolutely great, okay? Um, I'm not doing it in a malicious way. <laughs> Look, I don't fucking know why I do it. I just do it. When I've had too many drinks, I show my tits. Why are you trying to find meaning in a tit flash, I Eleanor? I don't know. Look, I, if I can get a cigarette from getting my tits out, then I'm going to keep doing it. It's really bad. <laughs> if any children are watching, don't listen to me. What wouldn't you do? What wouldn't you accept for a touch? Like, where's where's the sort of currency barrier on that? Because, like, so, yeah, like, is there anything... I don't know, I suppose like... money would make it different. But I... Would it? Yeah, I don't know. No. Would, hang on, does, does, your, does, uh, is it... I'm sober right now, I haven't had a drink, so I wouldn't get my tits out for... Well, actually, if you offered me £25, probably would. Because <laughs> I'm really fucking poor at the moment, my fellow. Um... <laughs> I wonder if it's the novelty value of a cigarette that you go, woo! I think it's the novelty value of shocking a guy that it is. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I should talk to my council about this. I'm going to write that down. But um, I don't know. Um, so uh, Gaz Riley on uh, um, YouTube says, Hi, I'm from Liverpool. Hello, Gaz. Andrew, Andrew says, in a malicious way, question mark. I don't know what the question was, Andrew. But if you put the question, I can remember because there's a time lag on these comments. Uh, but I'm but I not going to get my tits out in a malicious way. Like, in an, yeah, I don't know what I meant by that. I suppose they're not going to be like horrible to you. I don't know. Like, they're not going to like argue with you. My tits aren't going to argue with you. I don't. Um, <laughs> my friend Nina has just joined the Instagram feed and just gone, I'm confused. Um, we all are, Nina. I'm it's very confused. <laughs> Sorry. But I, want, I wonder if like a tit flash is or any sort of like, um, strong sexual move on the part of a woman is a, is a kind of power play in the sense that, like, I don't know, it's so unusual to like to do that that it's kind of like I don't know. I know what you mean about the shock. It is I think I am a bit boisterous. Like my sister actually told me she was when I went to stay with her a little bit over lockdown. She was like, "You are like a fifteen year old teenage boy. Like you act like a fifteen year old teenage boy towards guys and like all the fucking time, like." Pulling a Mooney in a fucking wine bar is not what people do. I'm just like, I just can't help myself. <laughs> I don't always do it. I can be, like, sophisticated as well. I think, I think if people went out with you, they'd be disappointed. Well, no, I can be really sophisticated. Like, I went out with this guy and I was, like, sophisticated. It was really good. And then I went home with my friends and got absolutely shit-faced. I was like, celebrate that I was sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can. I can. I don't know. But, but what made you not get you? What made? What well, I was made? I'm already you pissed. I don't think thing. I fancied him. I think I was just like on. I'd had such a good time with all my friends. It was just I shouldn't have mixed 
having fun with my friends with going on a first date with some guy that I d didn't know. So I was already on my way. I was like on one. I was like dressed as a fucking 80s robes instructor, having those of free wine. I was like, the dolphin is where I'm going tonight and like, no one's going to stop me. So he came with me, basically. So I think I should just separate those two things, maybe. So like, I, like for, uh, do you think... Do you think you would have, like, do you think you would have, like, would you have preferred it if he'd have got on board and been like, all right, let's do this, you're mental, would yeah. that turn you off? But or is there something fun in the fact they're just like, what is she doing? <laughs> um, well, I think, actually, I would have loved it if he'd have got on board. That would have been hilarious. But we were on different levels. Like, there's no way that he could have caught up with who, how I was. Like, I was. Just imagine how this poor guy's feeling. Like, he's probably a bit nervous meeting me. We've been chatting for a while. And then all of a sudden, these fucking double doors come open. Really fucking bad. I'm dressed as an 80s aerobics instructor. And he's just, like, not ready. He needed to, like, fucking have 20 tequila shots to be on my level. And I just, there's no way. I, want, I went on a date with a really drunk guy once and I was sober and I was like, oh my God. Like he was just sloppy, but I'm always like that, but it's fine. But do you ever go on second dates? Because I'm trying, you know, like no. do you ever go on second dates when, when you're in that? Because what I'm at the moment, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go on like first dates, but like be really hold back and not oh. just be really, really yeah. sort of like boundaried, which yeah, is yeah. total opposite to drinking me because drinking yeah. me is just like, Let's get some coke. Do you like coke? Yeah. All right. And then if I don't know, I've walked out of dates because people don't drink quick enough. That's I've been like, we are not gonna get drunk and fuck. I'm out. Yeah. No. I, think, I can't I know what you're saying. Like my sister goes for coffee, coffee in the afternoon on dates. What the fuck is that? Like I would hate to do that. That is something I would do if I was like in a relation like if I'd known them for a long time, like that's really like revealing, isn't it? Like a coffee. Fucking coffee. Like maybe you're just are you not looking for relationship you're just looking to f about. no i'm looking to have fun with someone that's like fun and to get married and have a baby in the next year but apart from that no i'm not ready <laughs> no i'm look i'm just looking for someone to have fun with not to, like, oh fun you're just letting people uh, that you can breastfeed that's it i get it i get it i don't really know what i'm looking for to be honest but if there's anyone out there that um is fun and wants to have fun with me then hi <laughs> Victoria Kemba, what are you up to at the moment? What how's lot? What are you 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 just what you've been doing to keep your well, time? I've been doing those online shows actually for burlesque, which is fucking weird because like you have to like dress up and dance around in the living room. You're just like fucking what am I doing? But um, so yeah, that's been fun. I've actually loved lockdown. I know it's really bad because like you know people have lost their jobs and stuff. But like personally, I've actually and people have died. Yeah, and people have died. But yeah. Um, I've really, I've just had like a really, I live on my own um, and I just, I've just really enjoyed like just, you know, just masturbating in the middle of the day, like I said before, like it's my favourite thing. <laughs> you don't have any time, like, you don't have to be anywhere at any time. Like today I had to just literally put mascara on and be like, right, we're going to do this. You just don't have, like time is not a thing in lockdown. It's great. I'm not ready for it to end yet. I love it. No. <laughs> After that bit. We're not ready for it to end. Um uh, Victoria Kemba, uh, thank you so much for coming on the Worst Date stream. Thank Where can people me. find you? Oh, I never do this. Um, if you want to see boobs, go go to Instagram, Hooray Cabaret. And then I'm Victoria Kemba on Instagram too. And if you want to book me for like um, an, an 80s aerobics, go to Hooray Bespoke Events. Oh! Yes, there's boobs on all of them. Extra, Tip Flash is extra, packet bags. Yes. Um, right, I'm going to sign off from the Instagram. I'm going to let you go. Thanks so yeah. much, Victoria Kemba. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Uh, thanks so much for watching my Worst State stream. Um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the people that have commented. Um, it's just a new way of doing it, isn't it? I'm not sure if I like it or not. I'm trying to work on the tech a little bit. Um, thank you so much. Um, feel free to send me your worst dates. I'm doing Walk of Shame on Saturday um, for Reading Fringe Festival. Uh, tickets available from the readingfringe.co.uk website um, and also I'm going to be doing a, a new material night on uh, sometime in August if you want to get involved um, then sign up to the mailing list on my uh, website that is it they're like f three or five quid a ticket thank you uh, Ninny is less confused thank you for that 
brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed it. Instagram got a bit of a bum deal because I haven't worked out how to do Instagram on this, all this fancy shit. So who fucking knows? Um, thanks so much. Hello, Rob. Thank you. Hi, hi, Saudi. Hi, guys from Saudi. Uh, hello. Hello, everyone that's commented. Um, thank you. I'm going to be back next Thursday, back at 8 p.m. with Worst Dates. Next week's Worst Dates, unless he cancels, is my mate. <laughs> We've got a straight guy on and he's, a, he's just a pervert. Uh, but in the in like a really lovely way um, and just a fun way. Uh, so look, join me next week. Worst dates nine eight p.m. next week. I'm gonna go. Follow me on the socials if you don't already. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>